Hi everyone, it's me, Lucy. Welcome to Lucy's Vision. I am a psychic oracle. I can see the future and many other things and I also channel messages. I also do tarot right now. I am a beginner at tarot, so um, I share, um, I read the tarot cards, I read energy for you guys, and I also decode any hidden messages of this reality, whether it's through our music, through our books that we read, that's, you know, well known, through our uh, movies and all that stuff, I just bring the hidden mes messages of that, or any hidden messages of this reality, and I... Um, decode it and I break it forward to you guys okay so today's I'm, I'm doing a tarot reading this is going to be pick a pile reading um and a topic you can tell by the title do he or she love you so this is for anyone that you're thinking about whoever come across my video whoever you're thinking about right now is the person that I'm reading for um is that's the person that you are seeking, right? So I'm going to give you an answer. Do this person love you or not? Okay, so I'm going to do a little reading for you guys so you guys can get that information. So before we get started, I was... Yeah, before we get started, I, I also have to, you know, mention this again, that there's going to be some type of shift that's going to affect the whole world come January 2023. Uh, it's either the middle of January or towards the end of December. It's one of those months, but I believe it's January. So stay tuned for that and pay attention to that and notice the difference of the shift. So, yeah, so let's just get started on today's reading. So to for pile one, I have the pink cat. Isn't it cute? <laughs> It's a mirror, you guys, but it's a pink cat mirror, which I find so cute. My favorite color is pink. One of my favorite colors. I have many. Um, and then the second pile is the pink flamingo. The third pile, we have the pink lip gloss. You guys, it's like, I'm almost done with this one. And I actually made this. I made this lip gloss, but yeah, pink lip gloss. <laughs> Uh, so, again, pile one is the pink mirror cat. Pile two is the pink flamingo pen. Pile three is the pink lip gloss, okay? So, I'm giving you guys some time to choose what you want to choose for that. I already um, pre-pulled already, like, um, these piles, but I didn't take a look at it, so... We're going to go, you know, we're going to be look, looking at this for the first time. Okay, so those are your piles. So go ahead and select the one that resonate with you the most, the one that, you know, call you the most. So take your time. Okay. Okay, so let's just start on pile one, okay? Okay, part one, I have the Two of Cups. Okay, the Two of Cups. I have the Five of Cups. I have the Page of Swords. I have the Eight of Pentacles. I have the Three of Pentacles. I have the King of Wands. I have the Ace of Cups. I have the Lovers card. Wow, this part is interesting. I have the Hangman card. I have the Magician. <laughs> and I have the Knight of Pentacles. And this is for pile one, okay? So, like, give me a moment as I read this, okay? This is a divine union. Definitely, most definitely. This connection, whatever this relationship, um, this is actually a romantic type of relationship. This is not a platonic relationship. So, whoever click on pile one, this is a love energy for sure. A love relationship for sure. This is divine. You were meant to be together meant to um be in the partnership together most definitely there's something that you lost though something that you were disappointed or grieving over uh, it was due to your finances actually okay this connection is very um 
this connection that you're with, this person is very outspoken. I can see very outspoken, blunt, very truthful as well. This person, like, they're very truthful with you. They're very open hearted with you. This is a divine union. This person, um, this connection, the reason why you guys are partnering up together, it's due to your career and your finances, your dreams and goals. This person is going to help elevate you in some way with your finances. So remember I told you the Five of Cups was above the Eight of Pentacles? Well, yeah, it was above the Eight of Pentacles. So it tells me that there is something regarding your um, your career or your talent and your finances that was of at a loss or you were disappointed over, you were heartbroken over, but this connection is going to help you um, advance on your skills and talent. This person is going to help you see your vision through. This is a very beautiful energy for you guys, this partnership. And it's also asking you to, whatever like doubt that you have, it's asking you to look at it from a different perspective. So you may have been someone who may have thought that this was too good to be true. For whatever reason, you may have that feeling, but it's asking you to look at it from a different perspective. Because this person is very truthful. This person is very true. It's going to help allow you guys to manifest your dreams. This partnership is not just about love. It's about, you know, your career. You guys are going to elevate each other. You guys are going to pour into each other's cup. You guys is going to build financial wealth for each other, for yourselves and for each other. This connection is very, very truthful. And to sum it up for you guys, Power One, I believe this person truly, truly love you. This is a divine union. The Two of Cups, the, you don't only have just the Two of Cups. You have the Two of Cups and the Lover's Card. One second, you guys. Sorry about that, you guys. That was my mother calling me in the background. I apologize for that. Um, interference but anywho what I was saying was that I see you don't just have the two of cups this is a lover's card in general this is like come on you can tell it's very affectionate someone's very affectionate you guys pour into each other's cup and all that then you also have the lover's card which is the major arcana card which is like this is like blessed by the divine by the universe so this is very truthful this is a very truthful connection this is a very loving collection because you have both these cards together um and then i saw the ace of cups came out as well which tells me that this is a very beautiful um connection very beautiful relationship that you guys have a very beautiful partnership so i believe this person that you're thinking about which is a love this is a romantic person um romantic relationship this is not platonic in any way. So whoever you're thinking about and you thought it was just like a friendship type of person, that is not this is not a friendship. This is a love connection. And this is this person really truly loves you very much. And this person is going to help you. Both of you guys are going to grow together. This connection is going to grow together. So that is all for part one. We're gonna get go and go ahead and go to pile two, which is the pink flamingo. So whenever you're ready, you guys. Okay, so pile two. Let's get into pile twos. So I have the King of Pentacles. I have the Ace of Swords. I have the um, Knight of Cups. I have the Nine of Swords. Mm. Okay, I have the Three of Swords. I have the Five of Wands. I have the Knight of Wands. I have the Four of Cups. I have the Six of Wands. I have the Five of Swords. And then I have the Two of Wands. Hmm. Give me one moment as I read this. This person that you're thinking about was someone who was, who saw you first. This person was a person, this is a love connection. This is not a platonic relationship of whatsoever because this, this card right here tells me that, the Knight of Cups. This is a soulmate card. 
this person was offering you some type of opportunity. But there was some type of self-doubt, confusion regarding this person that you felt. You had a trust issue. You didn't trust this person. You did not trust this person. And you was like very worried about this connection. You think that it's all in your head. That you were very in your head about it. Okay. Then we have the three of swords. Right on top of the nine of swords. You were worried. You were heartbroken about something. So this connection, whoever chose pile two, I believe this is regarding an ex. This person that you're thinking about is an ex relationship. You guys were in a relationship, but there was some type of trust issue, some type of betrayal that kept you up at night. You were heartbroken from this person. There were a lot of commotions regarding this connection, smoke and mirrors, lies. That was blocking, was blocking the love from pouring in. It was it was blocking your connection, whether it was this person that you're thinking about or whether it was you, due to trust issues. But there was some type of heartbreak regarding this person. You were distracted from your goals in your life. You were distracted from your own passion, what made you fulfill, what made you, you. You were distracted by your own self regarding this connection. Eventually, you came to focus within yourself. You gained some type of clarity about this connection, some type of, maybe you were healing from this connection. You was dealing with a lot of obstacles that didn't go in your favor at that with this relationship. So pile two, which is the pink flamingo, this person that you're thinking about is an ex, okay? This is an ex relationship. And there was a you know a connection that you guys were in love at some point, but there was some type of trust issues, some type of betrayal that left both parties or you heartbroken. And it also stopped you from, it's, you basically lost yourself in this relationship in a way. You were distracted by your own goals and your own dream, your own, you were distracted. But once this connection was over, because it seemed that it ended, I can tell that it ended somehow, you started to plan ahead and plan forward for yourself. At one point, you guys were in love, but there was some type of trust issue, some type of betrayal. And... At this point, this connection has ended. I'm sorry, whoever chose pink f the pile two, the pink flamingo, do he or she loves you at one point when you guys were in a relationship, but at this point, it has ended. Sorry if it sounds harsh, but it's asking you to move forward, to plan ahead um, for yourself, to focus on yourself. So that is all for pile two. <laughs> sorry. Okay, pile three, we have the pink lip gloss. Whoever chose pink lip gloss. Okay, so we have the Empress card. We have the Two of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Wands. Mm -hmm. We have the Four of Pentacles. Okay. We have the Sun card. We have the Judgment card. We have the Ten of Wands card. We have the King of Swords card. 
We have the Five of Pentacles card. We have the Ace of Pentacles. And then we have the Hermit. Okay, this is whoever chose part of three. The person that you're thinking about, this person is very confident. Very confident, very blessed, very controlled when it comes to their uh, finances. They have, they are definitely wealthy. They may have been an issue regarding their wealth, but you know, they um, balance that out eventually. This connection was, um, you know, it had ups and downs, but it was definitely your. How can I put this? The he or she loves you. Whoever you're thinking about is a person that you were in a relationship with. Or you are. I'm sorry. Excuse me. You are in a relationship with. It was in the beginning. It was, you know steady i should say you guys were you know nurturing the connection in a way it was full of love it was balanced this relationship but it was also it also went through some type of up and down. I believe do he or she loves you? I believe yes, this person do loves you. Um, I'm just really looking into you guys' relationship because <laughs> I'm nosy. Um, I see that you guys. balance each other both of you guys have something to offer like both of you guys like let's just say this person like this person's strength may be your weakness your strength may be that person's weakness so you guys balance each other out you may be different from one another and you guys help each other out but yeah this this definitely is a connection that you're still in it's steady. <laughs> That's the best way I can explain it. It's steady. And I feel like this is new also. That's why I, f I feel like... That's why I'm sensing this energy. Like, it's steady. <laughs> because I believe it's new. It's a new connection that you're in. It's so far that I see it's, it's being nurtured. I see that it's true. That the love is truthful. The love is there. Um... But this is the beginning stages of your relationship. This is a new connection that, that you're in. This may be some, someone that you're dating. Or just a new relationship that you're in. But whether it may be, it's a beginning stage that I see. And I see that it's balanced. Because you guys you guys are compatible with each other. You guys um, fit. <laughs> you guys fit. So, that's the best way I can describe it, you guys. But this definitely love it there. This person do love you. And you love this person as well. But it is the beginning stages. So, this could be you dating someone. Or this is a relationship that you're in. That you just got into. Uh, but whether that may be, it is being nurtured. And it's seeing that the love is there. So, I would say yes. This person do love you. And vice versa. So that is all for today's reading. Hopefully you guys got the information that you need. Um, comment down below what you think of each pile. Uh, if it resonates with you guys. Um, also, like my you know video. Like my channel. So that it can spread around YouTube. So many people can um, you know see my videos and subscribe to my channel. Um, and also... Click on the bell so that you guys can be notified from any updates that I do regarding my predictions, regarding my uh, research videos, which is coming soon, regarding my um, 
decoding breakdown that I do, anything that I post that you guys could be notified. So make sure you click the bell, subscribe to my channel, and like the video if you liked it. And comment down below. I would love to know your thoughts on how you felt about this reading. I really enjoyed doing this. Um, you know, this is actually very new for me to read tarot. Because um, you guys know that I am a seer. Like, I am a psychic oracle. I'm able to see visions and right now i'm expanding on my gift because i also have the gift of channeling messages as well that was something that was confirmed to me so yeah <laughs> so bear with me as i go through this process of learning and all that stuff so please tell me what you think down below if it resonated please let me know and yeah see you guys next time we see you bye